Department of Telecommunications and Postal Services Minister Siabonga Kwele has launched the Triple BEE ICT Sector Council. The council is set to set up to implement and monitor Triple uh, BEE in the ICT sector. It's tasked with broadening the meaningful participation of blacks, women, youth and people with disabilities in the ICT sector. It also has to measure the progress in the country is that, that it's making towards an inclusive digital economy. Minister Tkwele joins us now from our Pretoria studios. Uh, very good evening to you. Thanks for joining us. Um, an important day for you then today. Tell us about uh, the launch today, of, uh, uh, which follows the uh, gazetting of the Triple BEE sector code, which took place yesterday. How significant is uh, this uh, development for the ICT sector? Thank you, Peter. It is a very significant day for the ICT sector in South Africa because it uh, really confirms the values which are espoused in our constitution and our national development plan of ensuring that there is no discrimination, there should be no discrimination, no sexism, there should be pro poor policies, and uh, we should also redress the ills of the past. We know the effect of colonialism and apartheid over more than 360 years. So the significance of it is that the council itself, it was uh, established through the participation and nominations of the relevant sector, particularly the private sector and the community sector and trade unions. These are the people who have worked very hard and they work and, and managed to finish their work in time. That's why yesterday we launched the new amended uh, ICT sector, se B sector, se sector code. The significance of it is that it applies to all entities in the ICT sector, whether it's broadcasting, telecoms, IT, and even state-owned companies, uh, so that we can have this meaningful participation of uh, those who were marginalized in the past, blacks in general, Africans in particular, and the marginalized people like women, youth, and the people with disability. So that's the significance of it, that, uh, that the, the industry itself and stakeholders, even before we finalize this uh, amended cause, uh, they already committed to this uh, route of uh, meaningful transformation and participation for those who were marginalized in the past. All right, Minister, perhaps you can help us. Um, if, if we think about triple uh, BEE codes, for example, um, people might say, why, are there, why is there a requirement for sector codes? Um, isn't there a set of codes for the country in general that we should all follow anyway? Yes, there are generic codes which have uh, been developed uh, by the Department of Trade and Industry. But also we must remember that we amended the B Act in 2013 to make sure that there is broadening of participation and meaningful participation. The sector codes are important because the various sectors of the economy, they contribute differently to the economy. The ICT sector, for instance, marshes it is relatively small at the moment, contributing just about 5% of the GDP, but it is a growth growing sector and the most supporting sector for the future growth of our, of our country. So that's why, for instance, uh, if you look some of the specific code, like the, the black ownership, they've increased it from 26% or 25% to 30% as a minimum. Mm -hmm. But companies can increase it even to higher levels because that's where we think, uh, we've been seeing a lot of blacks trying to enter this market but they, they, they really couldn't make it because they didn't have support. Now that we all as South African and companies agree that we should support enterprises, then it should, uh, we sh it should really have a, a meaningful impact. Secondly, <clears throat> in the past we were really troubled by the funding. So the new sector amended codes are really dealing and criminalizing funding. But more important than lastly is that the two, the three sectors or elements which were ignored in the, in the past, they were just focusing on the ownership and management. But now we are also shifting the focus and putting more score to the issue of skills development. Mm. If so, if you develop skills for the blacks and, and, and the marginalized groups, you get more points. 
you get more points for now for emphasis on uh, enterprise development so that we can ultimately see some of these companies functioning mm -hmm. through this support. And lastly, it uh, puts more point on preferential procurement uh, so that those companies can use the resources and uh, mm -hmm. the products which are produced by these small black companies mm -hmm. so that in future also they can have a chance mm -hmm. to grow and be big. Uh, some of what you've said perhaps might answer my next question in part, but you know, we say broad-based black economic empowerment, but the uh, criticism in the past has always been that it's not really broad-based, that uh, these kinds of codes end up benefiting a few big players over and over again. Yeah, it is precisely the reason why the Department of Trade and Industry and the government of South Africa, the ANC government, amended the B Act in, 20, in 2013 after we realized all these problems. So the, 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 we are no more focusing just on ownership and say we're owning shares. We want to see whether you've got voting power, are you participating in decision making, are you participating in management, are you also getting these companies which are, are there uh, participating meaningfully in the supply chain, in the skills, and so on? So that's why then the, the new codes, they really support what is called the broad participation of all South Africans instead of the, the few who were sometimes selected by the industry themselves. So now, if you are to enter this BEE, there is a council which will help you whether the route you are, you are, you are taking in that uh, BE deal is the correct one and advise you accordingly. Okay. So those are the fundamental changes from right. what was practiced in the past, which selected few individuals. Now we want broader participation of all those who were, who were marginalized, but we okay. have a capacity to participate. Uh, Minister, we're running out of time, but very briefly, um, data fees. Uh, this is what's keeping a lot of people out of the ICT equation, those who are trying to uh, use the internet or, or, or communicate in this digital environment. How far or is there a conversation happening between government and the big mobile operators, data providers, to make sure that data connectivity is something that's available to everybody in an affordable way? Yes, the data costs are still relatively high. Uh, as government, I've directed the regulator to do some studies, first of all, to see whether there's competition. Out of those studies, then we can take active steps and the regulator will advise us what we should do because every South African is complaining about this uh, uh, high cost of data because they've realized the importance of the modern communication and digital communication. So we'll be working with them so that we have a, a true value of data uh, so that the people can have access in it. In addition, we are also trying to work with municipality to provide uh, free access to internet through free Wi-Fi. But the, the major thing is that we must reduce the data cost and roaming cost in South Africa. All right, Minister, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed. And uh, I, I know that the millions of South Africans uh, wish you the very best of luck in making sure that this creates you, an enabling environment. Thank you so much for your time, sir.